Good morning guys. It is six o'clock. Got to sleep in a little bit this morning because PT is right outside our barracks. So I don't have to drive over to the uh, company to get ready for PT. So yeah, it felt great to sleep in. Uh, so about to go do some PT. This is a day in the life US Army. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we just got off PT. Uh, it was sprints. We did like 10 or 15 sprints back and forth. And then immediately after that, we had a barracks inspection. So that's something you can expect. Uh, at least monthly in the army is a barracks inspection, if not weekly, bi-weekly, and then maybe monthly. It just depends on your unit. But uh, back in the barracks, watching a little uh, SEC football talk, and of course got our breakfast, but you know what I'm eating. So eat this, 7.30, uh, probably hop in the shower. Gotta be over at the motor pool at 09. Take you guys along with me. Stick along for my day, day in the life of a US Army soldier. So one thing I wanted to let you guys know, you see me doing these uh, day in the life videos and a lot of the time when I am able to shoot these videos, it's just a generic day at the office or sometimes over at the motor pool. So today I got to go to the motor pool, but most of the time it's either at the office, but your day can be very variable, can be, can vary quite a lot in the army. Um, so today I'm over at the motor pool. Those are generally my two places of duty, but you do do a lot of other things. Right now we're preparing for an exercise, so I'm working on some vans, getting them ready to uh, set up in the field. That's what we're working on. But when you go to the field, your day is very different. You don't live in the barracks, you live out in the field. Uh, when you're on exercise, it's very different. So this is just a typical in the rear type of day, but just so you know, your days can vary quite a lot. Um, this is just a typical chill Thursday. So this is the truck I'm working on today. Great, just great. It's 11.30, I'm off for lunch. I gotta go pick up my uh, ASUs, my dress uniform from the alteration shop. So that's where we're going. We're gonna go back to the barracks, chill for a little while, and then go back to the office, not the motor pool at 1300 while i'm driving i just want to kind of reintroduce myself you know maybe some people are newer to the channel so i am a enlisted united states army soldier i'm stationed at fort riley kansas 35 fox intelligence analyst e3 private first class so that's a little bit about me who i am what i do um so yeah i'm just my channel i'll take you along give you tips tricks about the army show you my life and uh, pass along knowledge I learn and then uh, I also show you you know sometimes me working out and give you tips on fitness and stuff because I really do enjoy fitness and bodybuilding and all aspects of uh, just being a fit soldier so that's who I am it is 348 in the afternoon we're done heading back to the barracks gonna eat real quick and go to the gym so it was a quick day in the afternoon didn't have a whole lot to do uh, but I got my work done and it's uh, time to get home. Just get out the gym. It's 17.52. So quick recap of the day. This morning, PT 0615. Went and worked on the uh, trucks today from about 9 to 11.30. Packed them up. Lunch 11.30 to 13. 13 to about 1600-ish. Uh, I worked in the office. I prepared a brief I've got to give next week. So I was working on PowerPoint all day. And yeah, that was the day. And then after that, from about 1630 to about 1752, right now, I uh, worked out, got a lift in. So I love working out. But um, I wanted to talk to y'all real quick about something I saw on r slash army subreddit today. A, uh, a, a sad article was posted on there. It was the last Facebook post of a soldier who committed suicide and I just wanted to let you guys know that are going into training environments and or anything like that um, I mean it's applicable to anybody in any situation but watch out for each other just be aware that people are going through pain uh, apparently I mean I don't know I don't have all the details but if you go on r slash army you can find it apparently he uh, nobody really knew he was suffering or anything like that and he just uh, posted on Facebook 
and uh, wasn't at PT formation the next day. So just be aware, look out for your battle buddies, look out for your friends, look out for your family. It affects everybody differently. People deal with it in different ways. And, you know, some people deal with stress. The Army is a stressful environment, and some people just can't handle it. I mean, if you ever feel like it's too much, uh, I'll probably leave the link to the uh, National Suicide Hotline in the comment section just so you have it. Um, but just look out for each other. Look out for each other. That's all you can do. Talk. Don't be... Uh, don't be don't be mean to people uh, because you never know what kind of day people are having and i just wanted to inform you all of that it's a sad day for the army and it happens every day but and spe specifically you know they posted that on reddit he was a f fellow redditor so that's that's really sad sucks for his family um and it's really sad he posted in his in his last post he wanted everybody else to be happy and uh, not to mourn him, he was looking out for everybody else. So he really had that uh, warrior spirit, the uh, army values, you know, putting others first. He was a uh, a man of service. I didn't know him obviously, but um, from his last Facebook post, you know, you could kind of get a glimpse of into what he was like. And it sucks that he was in pain like that. So look out for each other. That's the day in the life of a soldier. Yeah, look out for each other.